Number 48. How many significant figures are contained in each of the following measurements? I see we got A through G. So let me just space this out first. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Okay. So significant figures is just a long way of saying sig figs. So you might know it from that. So how many sig figs, how many significant figures are contained in each of the following measurements? So we're just going to go run through A through G. And by that way, we'll find out um, the rules for scientific, uh, for significant figures. And let's start. So letter A, 38.7 grams. So rule number one in scientific, I keep wanting to say scientific notation. Rule number one in sig figs, rule number one in scientific figures, is that all non-zeros, so literally numbers one through nine, are always significant. Means that they always count. So here I have literally a three, an eight, and a seven. Those are the only three numbers. So how many Sig figs do I have? I have three. That's easy peasy for A. Next one. Two times 10 to the 18th meters. Okay. So first things first. Just know that whenever you see times 10 to the, and especially with the exponent, so all of this jazz, times 10 to the, the this will never count. for scientific uh, figures, significant figures, sig figs, so they will never count for sig figs. I guess I'm just, I'm trying to say significant figures, but I'm just going to call them sig figs, okay? <laughs> it's just easier for me. So times 10 to the, to the what, whatever number that is, it does not count for sig figs, not even this number. So don't even care about that. You're only looking at the number before it. Now this is just a two, and a 2 is a non-zero, and all non-zeros are always significant, so this would only be 1 sig fig. So this one's done. Letter C. 3, 4, 8, 6, 0, 0, 2, kg. Okay, so 3,486,000 and 2 kilograms. So always start with your non-zeros. So I got... One, two, three, four, five. So there's at least five sig figs here. But now I see zeros. There's many rules. There's actually three rules for zeros. So let's talk about this one first. Now these, what do you think these zeros are? Are these in the middle, the end, or the beginning of this number chain? They're right smack in the middle, right? Between them is a six and a two. So we can call these middle zeros. So we'll say rule number two, middle zeros, MZ, they are always significant. So any time that you have zeros that are caught in between two non-zeros, aka one through nine, they will count as well. So this zero counts, and so does this. So how many sig figs do you have in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So this one has seven sig figs. And we are moving on to D. 9.74150 times 10 to the negative fourth joules. Okay, so like we just said before, the times 10 to the business over here doesn't count. So you can kind of just like get rid of it, right? We don't care about that. All non-zeros are significant, so this one counts, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So we have at least five. Now we got to worry about this zero. Would this be considered in the middle, the end, or the beginning? What do you think of this? Now remember, this part doesn't matter, right? Everything from this side doesn't matter, so we don't even care. So would this zero be classified in the middle, the end, or the beginning? This zero is at the end, and we specifically call those trailing zeros, like the ones that trail behind the leaders. So the end zeros are always trailing zeros. So number three, TZ, 
trailing zeros are only significant, so I just say only sig, if there is a decimal. If there is no decimal, then it's, they're not significant. So I'm going to put a highlight with this one. This one is the tricky one. Trailing zeros are only significant if you see a decimal. I don't care where the decimal is, just as long as you see the decimal. Do you see the decimal here? Yeah, it's right here. So since there's a decimal, this zero checks out. So that one counts. So now you have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this one has six sig figs. And we're moving on. E, 0 0.0613 centimeters cubed. All non-zeros are significant, so 613, those are good to go. But now, let's look at these zeros, this one and this one. Would these zeros be classified as being in the middle, at the end, or in the beginning? They're not trapped, so they're not middle zeros. They're not at the tail end, so they're not trailing zeros, but these are at the beginning. These are called leading zeros. So I'll just put a slash there. So that's rule number four. Leading zeros, LZ, never count. No exceptions. So if you see leading zeros, the ones that are in the beginning, without something being scrunched between them like that, then they never, never, never count. So no and no. So this one would only have one, two, three. Three sig figs. Moving on. F. 17.0 kilograms. Let's see. Can you guys guess what it is? These obviously check out. So one and two. This zero is a what? Is it at the middle, end, or the beginning? This is at the end, so this is a trailing zero. And trailing zeros only count if there is a decimal. Oh, the decimal's right here, I see it. So this one has to count. So you count all three of them. This would be three sig figs. Last one. 0 0.01400 grams per mils. All non-zeros are always significant, so I see the one and the four. But now I see two types of different zeros. Let's start with from left to right. So these zeros, what do you think these are? These are leading zeros. They're in the front. And leading zeros never count. So mm-mm and uh-uh. These do not count, so they're not going to count for your sig figs. Now we have these zeros in the back. What are these? The back zeros are trailing zeros. There are no zeros caught in the middle of two non-zeros, so we don't have to worry about that. But do these count? They only count if there is a decimal. Do we see a decimal? Yes, we do. It is right here. And it was right here in the original problem, just so that you guys see. So these, both of these would count. So how many sig figs, significant figures, do we have? One, two, three, four. So we got four for that guy. All right, guys. Hope sig figs helped. The, you know, you knowing sig figs helped by doing these problems. Um, if they did, give us a subscribe. We got tons of sig figs. We got conversion, stoic, short for stoichiometry, coming your way. All right, we even have physics. So go check it out. Um, I'll see you guys all in the next question. Take care. Have an awesome day.